Now, the head of Google has condemned any efforts by the government to shut down social media websites in the wake of the English riots. Ministers and police have been discussing how to stop sites like Twitter being used to organise social disorder. But, questioned by Christian Gurumurthy at the Edinburgh Television Festival, Eric Schmidt said it would be a mistake for the authorities to interfere with the internet. It, it's a mistake to, to look at the mirror and decide to break the mirror. Whatever the underlying problem was, the internet is a reflection of that problem, but turning on and off the internet is not going to fix it. You've got to fix whatever the underlying problem is. And in last night's McTaggart lecture at the festival, Mr Schmidt said uh, British education was failing to excite young people about science and technology compared to the rest of the world. I spent a lot of time in Asia, and these guys are good, they're focused, and they're going to beat us unless we get our act together with respect to fixing our educational systems. Well, one school that's getting it right on science is Simon Langton School in Kent. Boys there have gone well beyond the curriculum to take part in cutting-edge scientific experiments, plasma physics, space satellites and medical research. Girish Janaja went to find out how they've managed to achieve it. It's a long way from Bunsen burners. In fact, Arthur, Chris and David's school experiments are going to revolutionise how the world deals with radiation. The particles are hitting the chip and it's then being displayed on the screen there. Their GCSE work visualises nuclear fallout in a brand new way. If we look at, say, this, which is a gamma particle, I'll just zoom in, that's um, quite high energy at the centre, but sort of really low energy around it. I guess ultimately it'll help to reduce deaths and reduce risks from uh, disasters such as Fukushima. You look at new drugs and they're always manufactured by pharmaceutical companies and you look at new products and they're always done by big corporations, but this is just, you know, a school. The Langton School for Boys is being taken very seriously. Sellafield is in touch, NASA is visiting in a few weeks, and they're in a long-term partnership with CERN, the home of the Large Hadron Collider. And if you aren't yet sure what that is, let teacher explain. It's the biggest particle accelerator, 27 kilometres round, uh, where they are firing protons at each other to try and create the energies which were around right at the very beginning of the universe. So they're trying to recreate those conditions where the temperatures are so hot. And Langton prides itself on inspiring it's teachers. In and it's clear that when Google's chief exec, Eric Schmidt, criticises British science education, he hasn't visited this place. Pupils here have discovered near-Earth objects. The school has a licence to modify the human genome. Its research into multiple sclerosis is groundbreaking. I think the Langton is, is inspiring for what they're doing. Um, so they're absolutely phenomenal. I mean, they're doing not just real uh, experiments, but they're doing real experiments into things that, you know, nobody knows the answer to. Uh, and that's sort of fairly unheard of in schools. I've never heard of another school doing something like that. With this metal box, the school has outwitted NASA. The project is called LUCID. It's currently undergoing pre-orbit tests and will be launched into space next year. This is the satellite our experiment LUCID is flying on. And in this lower corner, this is actually what our experiment, will, where it will be and what it will look like. Now studying theoretical physics, Tom Stevenson was a pupil in the Langton year that designed the project. It detects cosmic rays and will help keep the International Space Station safe. Our data is very relevant to NASA because uh, cosmic rays effects on electronics and technology can cause um, corruption of data and things in satellites, but also there's uh, aspects to do with um, astronaut safety. Langton School is a state grammar. It's raised millions for new high-tech facilities. It says that with the support of the local authority, it's ignored the curriculum. And now, when sciences are unloved, 50% of its pupils take the subject at university. To find out why, ministers and Google executives may have to come here to do some homework.